OpenAI CEO 的 AI 转变。OpenAI 首席执行官萨姆·阿尔特曼对人工智能硬件的未来发表了突破性声明。Sam Altman, CEO of OpenAI, has just made one of his most unexpected statements yet. In a recent podcast, he admitted that the computers we use today are not powerful or efficient enough to support the future of artificial intelligence. This marks a clear shift from his earlier position, where he believed AI could grow using current hardware alone. Altman explained that most computers and servers in use today were built before AI became a serious global focus. These systems were never designed for the level of processing that modern AI tools demand. He said it's time to create new machines designed specifically for the AI era. To address this, Altman has joined forces with Johnny Ive, the former Apple designer who helped create the iPhone and MacBook. Together, they're developing a brand new device built from the ground up with AI in mind. According to Altman, it won't be a wearable or a headset, but something small enough to fit in your pocket or sit on your desk. Its goal is to make the experience of working with AI more natural and human-centered. This AI-first device is expected to do more than just run software. It may become a new kind of personal assistant, one that understands you, adapts to your needs, and even predicts what you want. Altman said we shouldn't be stuck with tools designed for typing and swiping. Instead, future devices will communicate using voice, context, and emotion. In education, this shift could have a deep impact. Students might one day learn with the help of smart devices that respond to their learning style and pace. Altman believes that in the next few years, AI tools in classrooms could be as common as textbooks if the right hardware is ready. But this future also comes with serious challenges. Running large AI models requires a lot of electricity. Experts say that over time, AI systems could use more power than some small countries. Altman warns that without better hardware, energy use could become a barrier to growth. That's why this new hardware project is not just about making things faster or smaller; it's also about being smarter with energy. Making AI more sustainable, not just more powerful. Altman said OpenAI is already thinking about how AI and energy systems must evolve together. This is a big change in direction for Altman himself. Not long ago, he said custom hardware wasn't needed. Now he's leading the charge to build a completely new device category, one that could change how humans interact with machines. He believes the next generation of AI tools won't live inside phones or laptops; they'll exist in a new form, light, fast, and designed to make working with AI feel as natural as talking to a friend. If Altman's plan works, we may soon see a future where the most powerful computer you own is not on your desk or in your pocket, but something entirely new, built for an AI-native world.